think the button's sad. Right on the set. Quiet on the set. You're listening to WRFB Radio Free Britannia. And this is Lunch, coming to you live from Deltona, Florida. Here are the dynamic duo themselves, Laz and Jack. This is Les, and there goes Jack, all caught up, not even paying attention. Did you even start your stream yet, Jack? Did you even push buttons? Do you even care? <laughs> yeah, no, I know he didn't. He Come said, back, Jack. Come he's, back, so, he, he's so caught up in that job, whatever he's doing over there, he ain't got nothing going on. But of course, it is two for Tuesday, otherwise known as Taco Tuesday here on NBNN. And of course, giveaways are open. He did do that, so you can type exclamation bundle me. On both streams, you can type exclamation I love free shit on my side for a chance to win a mystery game key, or you can pound the bootay on Jack's stream for a chance to win on his stream. But of course, uh, he has to be live for you to uh, do that, which he's not at the moment. Conjurer, what's going on? Dogpaw TV, how you doing? What are you guys doing over there in the Shroud Discord? I saw you guys earlier today hanging out, uh, chatting in the Shroud Discord. Are you guys still over there chatting? Let me see. Yeah, you're the only one left, uh, yeah, absolutely easier to talk. That's uh, one of the greatest things about Discord that allows you to uh, play games and communicate with people and you can get things done, like, instantly, you know. Instead of sitting there trying to type something and then you're dead while you are trying to type something, so. 
But meanwhile, welcome to today's show, boys and girls. It is Tuesday, November 19th, 2024, here inside and outside Shroud of the Avatar. And as I said, giveaways are open. But uh, also, our Discord is open. You can come on in, join us each and every day that we are here, and voice your opinions, join us in conversation, and all that other fun stuff. But uh, today, it's fun. What's that, Lummy? <clears throat> you need to put that mic down where it's supposed to be, man. I tell you what. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I tell you, it's a lot of fun. Yeah. Come so join through, us. You went through all the trouble of upgrading that mic and getting that mic working, and you don't use it. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the thing about this mic. I, I, sometimes, if if I don't think about it, I, I forget about it. Yeah, it just sticks up by the side of your head instead of down by your mouth. Well, you should just make it a habit right. of always having it there so that, you know. <clears throat> yep. But uh, anyway, moving right along. We'll see if Jack decides to start his stream and join us anytime soon here today. He doesn't even have his earbuds in yet, so I can't even pick on him. <laughs> well, I can, but yeah. Uh, waiting to see if he was going to chime in there with some smart-ass comments, but uh, not yet. <clears throat> but yesterday we were talking about uh, Black Friday sales, and apparently the conversation is going on about this sale. Um, and let me see where we left off yesterday, because uh, I'll pick this up here. <clears throat> And back to our original poster, Himu a Lightbringer, uh, who suggested that we do a Black Friday sale. And as as I said yesterday as well, is uh, you know, if you've been around for as long as you've been around, you know that there's gonna be sales, just not on those certain items that you would like to see, like episode two additional character slots and bank upgrades. Although I don't know how much they could actually uh, cut off of bank upgrades and character slots. I mean, they're five dollars each, uh, four dollars in game for the bank upgrades. But uh, Emo comes back with the uh, comment uh, because I guess he didn't like what uh, Morgan had to say. But uh, actually, Black Friday sales have a huge effect not to be ignored, and those that do are fools. Good point. I've managed a hardware store for years, and I can tell you Black Friday is one of the largest shopping events of the year, and any company that does not take advantage of this is just stupid plain and simple. The numbers don't lie. Look at Blizzard Entertainment, a giant in the gaming industry. Yeah, they also have staff. Um, they have Black Friday sales every year, and they are many more gaming companies that do the same. But here, the thing to do is a nice 50% off Black Friday sale, rake in the surplus revenue in your fourth quarter. Or not, it's up to you. After all, it don't cost you anything. Games are like casinos. They literally have a license to print money. In a game, you're selling pic pixels. What's the cost? What's the overhead in those pixels? Nothing. You may as well be selling air. Anything you make off, it's 100% profit. And not to take part in a spending holiday, which most folks have been primed to let loose. Uh-oh. Waldo! With the sub, 57 months in advance, 74 months total, and 300 bits. Thank you, Aldo. Ah, Tina, wait, 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 and wait, and wait. We're going to get to the fun stuff there, but uh, Aldo's going to get himself a mystery game key. 
So we're going to get that for him first, and he's going to get a copy of Spirit of the Island. And Spirit of the Island is currently fourteen ninety nine, fifteen bucks going out to Waldo. And Waldo, are we going to play with some balls, or are we just going to continue on with the, the lame news? you let us Waldo, know what we're going to do there. Waldo likes playing with balls. And there you go, Waldo. Waldo says news. Have a great Thanksgiving. <laughs> Headed to Pigeon Forge, Tennessee to meet up with Laura's family. Okay, cool. Very cool. Well, you guys uh, have a good trip over to Tennessee and uh, you know, be safe in your travels. And watch out for the pigeon poop. Yeah. <laughs> a dark blue monkey hitting us up with 300 bits as well as Tina with 300 bits. And Tina kicked off the hype train. Dark Blue Monkey also gets that choice to uh, roll them or not. I will get you guys some game keys here in just a moment. Let me go ahead and pull those up. But uh, you're going to get uh, going out Dark Blue Monkey 200% mixed juice. Going out to Dark Blue Monkey uh, $6.99 on Steam. Let me get that over to you. And then, Tina, we will find you a mystery game key as well. And again, Hype Train now active. Conjure Dragon with 300 bits. And that got us to the next level of the Hype Train. Waldo with another 300 bits. Getting us to 22%. Worth of that hype trains. Level 2. Tina coming at you. Pogo Forest. Pago Forest. Dragon's Revenge. Going out to Tina. Morgan with another 300 bits. <clears throat> Dark Blue Monkey with another 300 bits. <laughs> All right, after Tina, I'm going to have to catch up on you guys later because we've got to do some stuff here. So let me get this over to Tina. And Jack says he's doing some VPN troubleshooting. Shouldn't be your problem. Waldo with another 300 bits, getting us to 72% of that hype train. I'm going to uh, finish this uh, topic before we do roll into some marbles. It's raining out, but hallelujah, it's raining a bit. Uh, welcome to my life. It's every day down here. But Tina, you're going to love this uh, this portion of it, and I was hoping that Jack gonna, would be He's going to love this shit. Yeah, you're going to love this shit because, uh, you know, I was hoping Jack would be here to, uh, you know, Comment on this because this is one of Jack's favorite favorite topics. Waldo with another three hundred bits. Thank you, Waldo. Getting us ever closer. Eighty-eight percent of level two's hype train. But where was I? Uh, uh, which most folks have been primed to let loose their wallets on is just dumb. But I digress, as soda seems more and more likely they are allergic to making money. Yes, I couldn't have said it better. Soda seems more and more like they are allergic to making money. Waldo! Making it rain, getting us to level two of the hype train. Can we have paragraphs, please? Yeah, well, you know, these guys... Uh, not their first language, I'm sure you understand. Uh, do a Black Friday sale and get an influx of capital or don't, it's up to you. But just think, I run a small hardware store that is thriving and has been growing all these years through COVID and all amongst larger stores like Home Depot's activity to try and squeeze the competition 
by buying up suppliers and raising the cost on it on us among other devious methods and while all those other stores drop like flies from inflation and whatnot we still grow and turn a greater profit every year but i don't know what i'm talking about yet the cost of pixel pixels is negligible and you're struggling just saying Yes, so, uh, you know, being allergic to making money seems to be very common around here. Condra chimes in with, I think you misunderstand the gaming industry and how programming works. Nothing is for free. The best case, you can buy existing assets off the Unity store adjusted to fit the game and sell that. But even that costs a few dollars to Unity and some man hours to adjust to the game. Old German proverb, nothing is free but death, and that costs your life. Yeah, but, you know, Unity assets cost like 20, 30 bucks most of the time, Condra. Come on now. And then Morgan says, Hemo, you misunderstood me. In my humble or honest opinion, depending on how you take that, idea is a good one, but there must be done more. More done, however you want to call it. For sure, Black Friday deals make money for the company, but with income of one month, you can't make big plans for the future. The long-term projects, you need regular income every month, and you need that need a constant, best-growing player base. Employees like to have their money monthly, but not only after Black Friday, and the yearly amount of income of the Black Friday sale isn't sure. Well... Uh, Morgan, when you have paid employees, that's uh, true. When you have volunteer employees, uh, that's not quite as true as how it is around here. Waldo, another 300 bits. Thank you, Waldo. Being very generous before he heads on out to the Thanksgiving festivals coming up next week. Which uh, is going to lead me to uh, load up the balls because that's the most important news we had today. So we're going to do that and then we're going to start getting out some prizes and some keys and all sorts of good stuff. Balls to the walls. Balls. Because we've got balls. But Hype Train is currently at level 3, which means we'll be giving away some additional game keys today. And I did not update the game keys to reflect. But uh, there'll be a copy of Urnog Unlimited, worth $9.99. And then there will be a copy of Blue Coats North and South. Or at $19.99, in addition to the other giveaways at the end of the stream for level three. Get us to level four, we'll give away a copy of Debt Squared OTTTD and one more line triple pack. We're at $25.97. Get us level five, Warhammer 40,000 Gladius, Relics of War. We're at $39.99. Get us past that, and I'll dip into the Leisure Suit Larry bundles. And beyond. I never, play, I never played Leisure Suit Larry. Oh, you don't know what you're missing, Lomir. You don't know what you're missing. Yeah, I do. I've seen the adver ad adverts. <laughs> but we're going to go for a random track. Let's see what the first random track has to say. Jack's off. Ooh. That's right. Now, Jack's not streaming. Jack didn't even hit the go live button today. So if. My stream screws up today, then I'm screwed on the audio portion for the radio today, <laughs> which we haven't had to use in years. But uh, that's uh, one of the reasons why we, we, we've we always done that was to have a backup. Yeah, I played back uh, when it first came out in the 90s. Was it the 90s or the 80s? And that's it with the hype train. Hype train has come to an end at level three. So everybody can collect their bonuses. And uh, we will go ahead and uh, click that start button. Everybody's going to have 69 seconds to get their marble in on the playing field. As I sit here and calculate uh, how many games we've actually got loaded. 
Uh, that's one, two, three, four, five, hell, six games. Seven games if we count the sub, which means more likely than not, the rest of this stream is going to be some playing with our balls here on NBNN today. Ken sent me. <laughs> there you go. The secret phrase, Ken sent me. Make that the password. Who is Ken? You have to play Leisure Suit Larry to uh, understand uh, that one. Yes. Uh, All right. Seven people in on the lucky few as we get ready to roll. Down the board on the first track. <clears throat> well, good luck, everybody. As Dark Blue Monkey, first one to start dropping down the pipes. Working right behind him and everybody else slacking behind. And Dark Blue Monkey off to a big commanding lead, but uh, remember the name of this track is The Lucky Few, so can he keep keep the lead? Can he hold on? Can he stay on the track? Only time will tell. No, he can't. Well, we don't know that yet. I've looked in the future. I see oh. it on. <laughs> Well, so far, so good. As we roll them on down, let's see. Working catching up as Dark Blue Monkey gets hung up. And Morkin jumping over Dark Blue Monkey in the tunnel. Dark Blue Monkey looks like he's stuck and finally gets dropped through. But Dark Blue Monkey takes a different path and now is back in the lead. Takes his lead back, leaving everybody in the dust. But here's the ejector board. Can he make it through the ejector board? Yes, he does. Into the hamster ball. Can he get out of there before the rest of the pack catches up to him? And he does. Looks like Dark Blue Monkey is going to survive. Tina gets shot up off the ejector board and gets ejected as Dark Blue Monkey comes in for the win. He's going to get himself some scrolls, so we're going to get those over to him while we wait on the rest of the marbles to complete the track. Uh, where's Dark Blue? There he is. Nope. Dark Blue, not Dark Blade. There we go, Dark Blue Monkey getting himself some teleport scrolls. You are a wiener. So congratulations. Yeah, I know it's dinner time for you. You're always cooking dinner for yourself and the kids. So what's for dinner tonight? Well, I uh, get this... Uh, Next track loaded up. Yeah, we've got game keys to pull as well. Ooh, buckshot coming up next. Spicy carrot and lentil soup. Mmm, sounds tasty. Very good. We're going to pull the streamer bundle, uh, not streamer bundle, game key giveaway and pick our first winner. And dweep. Dweep. You are the wiener. Let's go ahead and see what we've got for Dweep. Dweep's going to get a copy of Barrow Hill, The Dark Path on Steam. 
And Morrow Hill is currently fourteen ninety nine. Congratulations, Dweep. As we find you and get you that game key. There you go. And reset. And reopen. So make sure that you type in exclamation I love free shit for a chance to win the next game. And the clock is now ticking. 69 seconds to get in on the action. Seven marbles in. Same seven people, I'm guessing. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. You can hear the voice, huh? Yeah, it was... Uh... Uh, I, I appreciate that uh, you guys get to enjoy these games, and I appreciate that, uh, and now I'm Liz, that's right. <laughs> I've been called worse, Tina. That's for sure. I've been called worse. Embrace cold so and heard it in my head and my voice. That's pretty cool. <laughs> all right, here we go on Buckshot. Doesn't matter how fast you complete the course, it's who's closest to the center. So we're going to get down here and uh, get the target into our sights. And then watch it as they come on down the track, and we will see who gets closest to the center. This race doesn't matter what your speed is. Like I said, whether you get there first or last, it's just how close you get as we come on in. Where is the center? It's right in the center of that target right there. And here we go. Dark Blue Monkey and myself taking our first shots close to the center. And so far, Morkin. And Lomir comes up with the win at the end. Wow. With the gnome ball. Now, Lomir, you're sitting right here, so I can just hand you your scrolls. That's pretty cool. I like when that happens. Me too. <laughs> and there you go. There are some scrolls going to Lomir. Thank you. And coming up momentarily... We will have our two for giveaway of you our two can get, bundles. You two can get scrolls of you just play with your balls. On April 1st, they should make it the edge, the closest to the edge. <laughs> It'd be nice if they could just do that. Oh, here's one we haven't seen in quite some time. The House of Pain. The House of Pain. As I close the giveaway, pick our next winner. And Tina O'Neill, congratulations. You won the next game key. And Mythurgia. Mythurgia. If I'm pronouncing that even anywhere near correct. This is one I'm almost positive you don't have uh, $6 on Steam. Going out to Tina. As I reset the giveaways, only four people in on that one. So if you want to get in on it, you got to do it. And it is now reset. So. You got to get it done. Get her done. 
All right, there you go, Tina. As I get ready, uh, I will click start. And after this race, we will also do the streamer bundle giveaways as well. So make sure you're entered in on both sides on the streamer bundles and the Steam key giveaways. This is track three of seven, so we've got plenty more stuff to give away here. Thanks to Waldo, the big donator today, and Dark Blue Monkey, and Conjurer, and Tina, but mostly Waldo today. Waldo killing us with kindness today, and we do appreciate it as he gets ready to head with his lovely wife, Laura, down to Tennessee. To visit her family. And Morkin. Yeah, I didn't see Morkin on that list as I was scrolling. Yep, there's Morkin. <laughs> All right, here we go. Getting ready for the House of Pain. The old eagle favorite. I haven't seen him around in a long time. And then we're dropping down that pegboard. We love Waldo. We love Waldo. Absolutely. Waldo is a really cool guy. Uh, one of the dog, dog put TV ejected. One of the few people who's taken me up on the offer when they were in Florida, of course. Uh, <clears throat> His wife used to live here before she moved halfway across the country. Well, she moved all the way across the country. But took me up on my offer that if you're in Florida, you know, hit me up and look me up and come on by and visit and hang out for a bit. And uh, Waldo and Laura did exactly that. Came on by, hung out for a little while, had a nice little visit, got to meet his new wife. And, uh, of course, you know, Make lifelong friends that way. The Conjurer Dragon looks like he's about to pull it out. If he can hold on past those ejectors. And he does. Conjurer Dragon in for the win. Getting himself some scrolls. As Lomir, Tina, and Morkin are way back there. Looks like Morkin is like really way back there. And Dark Blue Monkey is about to get blown up by the Wall of Fire. Because the Wall of Fire is out. Tina's caught too. Both of those guys' marbles are hung up. Morkin's trying to race the, race the fire Wall of Death. Tina... Ejected out of it. Can Morkin beat the Flaming Wall of Death? Go, Morkin! Go! 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 Go, Speed Morkin! Go, Speed Morkin! <laughs> and Morkin barely beats the Flaming Wall of Death. Talk about a race. <laughs> Talk about a race. The Conjurer Dragon, going to get himself some scrolls. Conjurer, are you on the set today? Uh, yes, you are. At least you're an owl's head. Uh, where are you located? You're sitting right on, uh, right on my shoulder there, right on my feet. So that makes life easy. Give you your scrolls. There you go. Congratulations. And next game key winner. Going out to Lomir. Lomir, let me tell you what it is and we'll see if you want it or whether you're going to pass it on. Going to be a copy of Talomir. Talomir. And Talomir. You're going to pass it on. And Talomir is worth four bucks, three ninety nine, as we pick the next winner. And Tina. 
Tina is going to be the lucky recipient of that one then. There we go, Tina. Of course, Tina, if you've got any of these, you know the rules. <clears throat> Just let me know. I'll recycle it and <clears throat> go find you a new key. And now back to the game to pull out some streamer bundles. So let's go ahead and get over to the Moo Butt. And close that giveaway and pick our wieners. And our winners are Lomir. And Kolahari, Kolahari, congratulations to the both of you as I reopen the giveaway. <clears throat> and the giveaway is now reopened. Lomir, you're going to get this. And then Kolahari. I will mail yours out. Well, a hurry out there in the audience. I don't see the name up there, but it has to be here someplace. Wondering how you're enjoying those new leggings. And there's Kola Hari. Oh, that's interesting. Why didn't she park where she normally parks? <clears throat> My pool cleaner is here. And why is she parked over there? I must be leaking something and doesn't want to leak it on the driveway or something like that. But meanwhile... As we get back to the action. Uh, next game. Going to be in the next random track. And Taking Flight. Taking Flight is going to be the next track. Up on there. I got to also reset the game key giveaway. So let's get that done as well. <laughs> giveaways are now reset and I need to go take a count over here how many how many have we been through <laughs> 41 I uh, lost count of how many games we've done I've lost count all the humanity. Yep. But I'm going to need some more game keys. I guess I should take advantage of uh, these coupons. As we get ready, did I click the start button? Oh, I guess I didn't uh, hit start. Okay, 69 seconds. Sorry. <laughs> I'm looking at it and I'm going, what, what, how long is it going to take for this? It's just a bit lagged, that's all. Yeah, well, it helps if I actually, you know, get it started, so. Yeah, that's part of the lag. <laughs> okay, here we go. Now we have plenty of game keys to continue on with. Because it helps if we have game keys.
All right, here we go. Ten seconds. And we're taking flight. As everybody dropping down the pegboard. Oh, wrong way. That way. Yeah, don't, don't drop up the pegboard. Drop down. All right, we're splitting the track. One replay can't, and Heg Pets go one way. The rest of the crowd goes the other way. And Dark Blue Monkey looks like he's out in front. Or is he? Yes, he is. Gonna be a race to the strip. Let's see who drops first. One replay can't. A dark blue monkey gets a quick roll. Ooh, we've got a race. One replay can't. Yes, he can. Flies out of the. Holy crap. Egg Pets goes flying past him and gets ejected. Dark Blue Monkey gets catapulted right through, stealing the lead right back. Lomir. And Dark Blue Monkey in for the win. Congratulations to Dark Blue Monkey. As we go ahead and get him some game keys. Uh, not some game keys, some scrolls. And he can share these with the kids to travel around the world. If he can get them back in the game. I know it's a tough, tough, tough deal, right? Getting the kids back into the game. Right, there's uh, those scrolls. And now time to do another game key giveaway. As we pick that wiener. And Jigoku. Gonna get the next game key. And. <laughs> Jigoku's janitor bleeds. Because that's the name of the game. Janitor bleeds. Get a band -aid. Yeah. Let's see what this is all about. Enter the abandoned arcade after your car has crashed and the shelter you were looking for is trying to eat you alive in the dark, mysterious horror adventure. Solve mysteries, keep janitor satisfied, and always be aware of what's behind your back. It sounds interesting. Uh, that's 13 bucks going out to Jigoku1299. So congratulations, Jigoku. <laughs> Sounds like a bloody good time, doesn't it? Yes, it does. You're quite welcome. As I reset this mystery game key giveaway one more time. And let's see what the next track is going to be. As a random track generator loads, House of Pain, one more time. House of Pain, popular today, as you got 69 seconds to get in on the action. Everybody wave to Jack. Uh, yes and no. Running low on tracks. So I think we got like three left, but more likely than not, that's going to get us right to the end of the day. 
And if not, I'm going to probably take it to the end of the day just because I can and give you guys some goodies while we're at it because not really much of a news day. We'll save the rest of this lame stuff for tomorrow. <laughs> because uh, if you guys actually saw the forums, actually, I'll do this here real quick. I'll bring this up uh, just... Uh, After this track, I'll bring it up. Here we go. Oops. Wrong buttons. There we go. And so far, Tina. It's going to be a battle coming out there. Let's see who actually takes it. Dog Blue Monkey looks like he's got the current lead. But Tina's battling him for it, and Tina gets through the first obstacle. Tina into the funnel. And Tina dropping out. Conjure Dragon giving chase. And Dark Blue Monkey trying to catch up, but no such luck. The Conjurer takes the lead into the Triple Threat Mixers. Can he hold on? Hush phone. And it looks like Conjurer is going to steal this one again. I think he won this last time. As uh, I come flying past everybody, dark blue monkey on my tail. Looks like I'm going to take second. And the rest of the crowd is going to come on in. But uh, very cool conjurer taking it one more time. And again, sitting right there on my seat. Come on, what happened there? Where did my potion, where did my, where did they go? That was weird. Did they go into my pack for some reason? Yeah, probably where they went. Probably where they went, because I have a whole bunch more there than I should have. All right, let's try this one more time. One more time. There you go, Conjurer. I'll wait for Conjurer to take them as we do the next <clears throat> game key giveaway. Picking ourselves another wiener and Dweep. Dweep getting the next game key. As we go and find out what that is for him. And Dweep is going to get a copy of Party Hard. Party Hard, dude. And $9.99 going out to Dweep. And there you go. As we've got Pixels Raceway. Up on screen, ready to go. And I need to reset that game key giveaway.
as we count on down 35 seconds getting ready Let's roll them balls. Ten seconds. Last chance. And good luck to everybody. As we head on down the track. Justice TV show, Justice plays in on the game now. Conjure Dragon, holy crap, taking a quick lead out there. Morgan bringing up the rear as everybody gets jumbled up at the pegboard. Justice goes on past everybody. And gets a commanding lead off the push arrows. Can he hold on? He gets caught up as everybody gets caught up with him now. And Conjura slides on by for the lead. But here I come. Trying to steal it away from him. And who's going to make it past the barrels first? The tires first, I guess, is that those are. And Morgan coming from behind. So Morgan and Conjurer now battling for, for the lead. As we come up to the next set of obstacles. Lomir blowing right by him. Now Lomir and Tina racing for the end. But Conjurer slides right on by everybody. But can he can he get through the last set of obstacles? Who's going to make it through first? Looks like Tina's got a chance. Conjurer gets bounced back. Tina and Conjurer. Tina goes around the tire. And Tina barely drops in right in front of Knight Rider for that win. Congratulations, Tina. Alrighty, so let's get Tina some scrolls. Let's do another giveaway. And find the mystery game key for our next wiener. There you go, Tina. And closing the giveaway, picking our wiener. Dark Blue Monkey. You are our next game key winner. Let's see what we've got for you. As Dark Blue Monkey is going to get a copy of Sklash. Sklash on Steam. And Sklash worth $8.99. Oh, this looks interesting. Is a plug and play 2D samurai fighting game full of tensions where one hit is enough to kill. Play as a hand drawn samurai in a beautiful painted settings and fight your opponent in epic solemn duels where each move matters. Manage well your stamina, breath, and take your time to land a deadly hit. Very interesting. That one, you're going to have to wait till the kids go to bed to play that one, probably. 
All righty. Yeah, it does sound interesting, but there you go, Dark Blue Monkey. That's for you. And then, uh, because of the time, and because I can, I think we got time for this one as our last track. And it's going to be my favorite, The Castle Siege. As I reset the giveaway one more time. Don't forget, we got two extra giveaways for the hype train coming up. Also, at the end, Ernog Earn Limited, worth $9.99. And uh, what was the other one? Uh, the Blue Coats North and South were at $19.99. So we're going to be giving those away. At the end of the stream. But meanwhile, you've got about 20 seconds to get in on this last race. And this will definitely be the last race because this is going to take just a few minutes to get through because I love this track. <laughs> and here we go. Good luck to everybody. Bombardment. Bombardment. And let's see. Who? Dark Blue Monkey ejected. I was ejected right off the bat. Didn't even make it onto the track. Conjurer with the catapult. That ain't going to last long. I don't know. Maybe Conjurer is going to run for a record here. Who knows? Yeah, I knew that wasn't going to last too long. <laughs> They're currently still out in front. The closest person's Lomir behind them. Our conjurer being sent backwards now as Lomir is about to come steal that lead, go rolling on past. I'm coming to get you, conjurer. Oh, you did. You are in the lead at the moment. And now you're going backwards. And here we go. Oh, <clears throat> oh who, who just went flying by? Oh, that was the timer ball. But Conjurer, oh, you and Conjurer are both now right neck and neck, swapping paint. But Conjurer gets... All that one more time. As Justice plays, now takes the lead. He's getting blown everywhere, but he's not moving, just staying, staying right where he is. I get blown every which way it goes. <laughs> Here comes Lomir. Lomir just is swapping paint there. I see Tina sneaking up over there. Morgan now about to take it. And now Morkin in first place. But here comes Lomir again. Can he catch up? Yep, oh, Lomir stealing it back one more time. <laughs> and there goes Lomir. Way back. 
Leaving Morkin. Oh, Justice. Oh, I don't know. We're just bouncing between leaders here. Morkin and Lomir. Kissing there. It's, it's, it's like the night of the elections. <laughs> Almost four minutes in, and here comes Tina, slow but sure. And there goes Tina. As Justice feels it back, and now again, we're going to have another leader change as they swap paint. And Morkin, oh, well, Morkin retains the lead there. Thought he was going to get blown way back. There goes Tina, sneaking on by again. Tina with that slow roll, just slow and steady. Ooh, got lucky, did not get blown up there. Oh. <laughs> Tina's still holding it, but getting sent catapulted backwards, but still holding that lead. But there goes Conjurer and Morkin. Up, oh, yeah, never mind. Now Conjurer retaking the lead one more time, and there he goes, leaving it to Lomir. But there's Tina. Tina, that sly dog marble. We shall see. As Conjurer slides out in front one more time, and then it's sent backwards. Lomir now in first place one more time. We're just swapping it. Here comes Tina again. <laughs> Tina's marble just trying to hold on for dear life. And Lomir. One more time out in front. Yeah, I knew this was going to go over time. <laughs> uh, justice plays. Now taking the lead. Here comes Conjurer. Oh, Tina and Morkin Lomir ejected. Oh, the flaming wall of death is out. <laughs> Oh, there goes Conjurer Dragon, and the only one left, Justice Plays, and he gets blown the bits for the final wah, results. Wah, wah, wah. Uh, nobody finished. Everybody got the living daylight speed out of them on this track. So everybody said nobody here scrolls. Yeah, usually I thought the Flaming Wall came out at seven minutes, but we didn't even get the seven minutes yet, so it came out a little early. There's got to be something that triggers that. But we're going to trigger a whole bunch of other stuff here since nobody finished there. Uh, we've got uh, no scrolls to give away, but we do have to give away some streamer bundles, so let's get that done. As we draw the entries for that. And it's going to be Dwip and Knight Rider. Dwip and Knight Rider for that one. We're going to be doing four giveaways here. End of race, end of stream, and two hype train giveaways. So end of race winner is going to be Vovan VV. Vovan VV. You are going to get yourself a copy of The Last Federation going out to Vovan VV. Last Federation 
is 75% off, or is that true? Yes, $4.99 off the retail value of $19.99. The next winner is going to be Morgan. Nom, 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 nom. Thank you for my Doritos. Where did Jack go? He just left and didn't tell me and left me dual pictures there because Jack's just killing me today like that. Morgan, you're going to get yourself a copy of... In Sound Mind. In Sound Mind. And In Sound Mind. Ooh, holy crap, Morgan with the big win today. Ooh. 34 99 going out to Morgan. In Sound Mind. Our two hype train winners. Our first winner is going to be Tina O'Neill. Tina is going to get a copy of Ernog Earn Limited worth $9.99. Congratulations to Tina. And our final giveaway is going to go to Morgan. Morgan, you're going to get a copy of Blue Coats North and South worth $19.99. So, got to say big thanks out there to Waldo, Dark Blue Monkey, Morkin, Condra Dragon, and Tina for their generous donations today, as well as all the rest of you. We will be back with more tomorrow, right here on NBN. Until then, unless Jack bailed because VPNs. I don't know why that's his problem. And well, we are. And we are NBNN. Have a great day, everybody. We'll see you all tomorrow.